Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 with zombies with a new series I'm going to be doing like literally everyone else who has zombies on their channels it's not original even in the slightest Top 5s Yeah I'm sorry <laughs> But today we're going to be starting off with top 5 best perks in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombies I'd just like to stress this is my opinion if you don't agree that is fair enough please leave a comment what, do you, what are your what are your favourite perks? So let's just go straight into it and number five, I'm going to put Quick Revive. Now let me explain this. In solo, Quick Revive is God. Quick Revive is that one perk that if you're playing solo, you want to get. That is, you know, if you if you only if you had one perk slot in solo, Quick Revive would be the one you fill it with nine times out of ten. That last time being, if well, it should be like three times out of four, because that last one would be when you don't Quick Revive isn't available because you used all your Quick Revives. But the reason it's not higher on the list is because in in multiplayer, which I'll admit I don't play a lot of, but in multiplayer, it's kind of like, nah. It's not a bad perk, you know, you revive in about half the time, but there's much better perks to be getting. Personally, I'd much rather, you know, get double tap or something than get quick, quick revive in multiplayer, because I'd rather just kill all the zombies that are around rather than try and sort of you know, get that guy up while getting chased by zombies, you know? I'd rather just kill the zombies. That's just my opinion. Moving on to the number four spot, we have Speed Cola, an old favourite. Who doesn't love Speed Cola? Obviously, very simple what it does. It um, speeds up your reloads. It's fairly simple. Although, I swear that it increases the power of your rebuild speed. Is that just me? It really seems like it. So it's really useful to have. It is one of it is a really good perk, and I, genu I generally try and get it if I can simply because it's great. I mean, it is 3,000 points. It is quite expensive. Not sure if it should be that amount of points. I'd personally put it closer to 2,000, but I'd still say it is kind of worth the money. Um, you know, just being able to get, you know, reload and get more bullets just flying at the zombies, that is really what you want. So, you know, because of that, that's why I guess number four. Coming into number three spot, we have Widow's Wine. I have one of the new perks to Black Ops 3. So if you don't know what Widow's Wine does, because it is still new and not everyone played uh, not everyone plays Shadows of Evil. Um, I don't play it much, but when I do, it's one of the perks I generally go for. It replaces the grenades with like spider sticky grenades that uh, wrap zombies in webs uh, before they explode, and you can get more of these grenades with you know a drop that it'll drop or just at the end of the round they regen like they would with normal grenades. But that's not the reason Widow's Wine is good. I don't really care about that. I generally don't use grenades, personally. The thing that I really like is when a zombie slaps you, and then he gets webbed up. And that won't always kill them. It does damage them, but it won't always kill them. But if nothing else, it gets them away from you. It gets, them, it gets the thing that hit you to calm down. It, it's, it frees them in place, basically, for a few seconds. And those few seconds can easily be the difference between going down and getting out of a sticky situation pun not intended, to be able to continue on to make another horde, or, you know, get your pack a bunch gun, or buy a new gun off the wall, anything. It's just such a useful perk to have. Coming into number, number two spot, I put Double Tap. Now, I was very... I couldn't decide whether to put this at number two or number one, because I do genuinely love Double Tap. It is... It, it just sticks in me as, like, you know, this is a perk. I want to get this every opportunity there is. And the reason it's not at number one is because, while it is good, generally you do have the bullets to account for it. But, you know, shooting two bullets per bullet and shooting, I think it's 30% faster. It is seriously useful, especially with the weaker guns, SMGs, that like, that is amazing. Put double tap on, on heavy guns and it's also awesome because you you're doubling your damage. Plus, uh, you know, getting that extra bit of... DPS from uh, from the shot speed up, which is amazing. You know, it allows things like the SVG, I think pack a punch with double tap to be, you know, one hit to like round 78. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, it's just, it boosts the damage so much. And, yeah, coming here to my number one, I don't think it's really a surprise. Juggernaug. What can be said on Juggernaug? It is amazing. It is the best. It's just extra hits, and when you can get those extra hits, if you're training, then those extra hits can easily keep you up. They won't, all, they won't every time. <laughs> they definitely won't every time. But, you know, 
if you're training, having being able to get hit five times instead of three, I think it's five, pretty sure it's five, instead of five or six, I never really count, I'm too busy going, fuck, getting hit by zombies, but I'm pretty sure it's five, and being able to get hit five times instead of three is really good, especially considering how fast they hit in this game, they love to do the triple swipes and stuff, so, you know, it's so useful to have just those extra couple hits before you go down, off, you know, and like I said, it can often be a difference between going down and not going down. And hence why it's at the number one spot. So yeah, that is my top five perks. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button. If you want to see more from me, go and abuse that subscribe button. If you want to leave advice feedback, just say hello. Comments are right down there. Please leave. What are your top five per top five favorite perks? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.